I'm Chancellor Agard here at Entertainment Weekly's Comic Con studio, live on Facebook with the cast of Arrow. Welcome, guys. What up? Hello, up? hello. You, your panel just got out. How are you guys feeling? Good. Great. Well, so, yeah, so good. Fresh. Pretty good. Really good. Yeah. That's really good. Um, I want to start with Steven. Um, this show, season seven, I mean, looking back to when the show first premiered, I guess, did you expect it to make it this far to almost 150 episodes? No. No. I mean, um, I was saying earlier today that, like, we're compared to Smallville, which went 10 seasons, and we're on the same network as Supernatural, which has gone going into its 14th mm -hmm. season. And so I feel like there's an, the, the people think that like getting into a seventh season, there's an element of it that's like pedestrian, but that's not the case at all. Like we're in rarefied air for a, for a TV show, and uh, we're so fortunate. I've, I've talked with Emily, I've talked with David, just talked with everyone today about just how lucky we are. We really are. And this is obviously a big season in the sense that this is the first one without Paul and Willa. I mean, was it weird for all of you guys coming back with, and not having them there on the, from day to day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, of course. Paul, Paul's, 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 been there, Paul's been there since, Paul's been there since the jump. Yeah. You know, Willa's been there since the jump. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, being on set and not being around those two, um, it's a change. But we have some, you know, interesting new people. And uh, Colton, you're back this season full time. You're what? Uh, I'm back. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, damn. I, I'm curious. I mean, Talk what made this sort of the right time for you to sort of return to Roy sort of in a sort of, I guess, full time, I guess? Yeah, I, mean, I, was, I was so excited to come back and like having Beth, you know, be our amazing showrunner ooh, and ooh, she's ooh. a genius. Um, she, to be honest, she wrote, she wrote most of my she wrote all of my scenes that actually had lines, um, <laughs> and uh, but it's the truth and no, no shade. But uh, she was she's amazing. I'm so happy to be here, and um, yeah, it's it's going to be amazing. And I'm super excited to see where Roy goes. He's going to go in a very different direction, but uh, it's going to be something the fans are going to freaking freak out over. So I'm so excited. Yeah. Colton Beth love today has been real. <laughs> but but I I, I, I mean it. I really mean it. Like and I, you know, I really Beth is the love is real. But uh, it's it's real. real. It's always been real. Beth it, Beth amazing. deserves the love. The you know, she um it's not new. you know, she's yeah. always been to come from where she was, um, you know, starting with Greg Berlanti what 15 years ago. Let's not say that. No, how we're how not. <laughs> 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 but, but I'm whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. So okay, so all I can whoa. say is short, short, short. Oh, boy. oh, I'm already gonna get fired after after this, but <laughs> start, but, but I'm saying start from the bottom, but starting starting from where starting from where Beth started from, and now she ha she's the, the showrunner of, of Arrow. She she has her own show. That's that's a huge deal, and that really deserves a lot of recognition. And like yeah, it's Agreed. sorry. I'm not trying to kiss your ass. I'm just I mean it. I love it's you. It's the truth. I love you guys. You deserve it. Yeah. I love you. You felt that? You felt that? Well, it's true. Like, like no you got to give there love is. where love is due. I don't, think That's Rick's, it. I don't think Rick's ever expressed love for anyone. Any right? That was ever. very new. That's the first time you've ever said this. You've never you told me you love me. Thank you for giving us this moment, right? Oh, this is nice. <laughs> what a safe space. Very welcome. Yeah. First a coral space shirt. Now this. <laughs> 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 Never saw more coral. First a coral. It's Valentino. It's Valentino. So we have one fan question. Well, two. Uh, but I'll start with um, this one. Someone's asking for you guys to get for you guys to give one word uh, to describe season seven. Take it over. I can't swear though. <laughs> <laughs> However, will I what? describe it? Why would you want to? Because uh, it's the word I was choosing in my head. That's the word. <laughs> can you t can you tell me in word. secret? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Oh, that's your word. Mm, that's my I word. Can't. I was gonna. I was like, I think it's too much of a spoiler. Even just one adjective. Dark. Okay. Mm. Light. <laughs> <laughs> Jed. Green. Pink. Jail. Pickles. Toast. Jail. What are you doing? <laughs> so I'm curious so. though. In what way will the season be? So, so because the arrow does go dark from time to time, from time to time. But quite often, I mean, so how will this sort of? Uh, I guess how is this different from, in terms of darkness? I guess from what we've seen before. I would say it's it's totally similar to season one. Okay, we're just going back to our roots, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of there's a lot of demons that are that are going to come out, and that's all I can say. And uh, 
That's better than what you said on the panel. The word. Thanks, guys. Gave him nothing. Look on the at panel. this one. Look at this one. Speak Get in here. Panel. Get in here. Sea legs. So fun. It's so fun seeing. Yeah. Your sea legs. Well, well, speaking done. of demons, I mean, at the panel, Stephen, you mentioned how uh, this season is uh, Oliver d isn't heroic. He's very unheroic, and I yeah. think uh, I'm curious for you. I mean, this this is this isn't the first time that the show has been willing to sort of cast Oliver in sort of a negative light and put and try to turn the audience against him. This was sort of the case in season three, two in a, a way. I'm curious for you. When in season three? Well, just I mean, at the end when he sort of uh, lies. Oh, when to he Diggle. becomes we, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, okay. But also, but also, I feel like that entire season was also about him learning how to lead this group and not be sort of so Oliver-y, I guess. Look at you being a fan. <laughs> Look at you being Very a huge fan. That's cool. I didn't even remember that. Um, I'm curious, though, for you, I mean, is that, I guess, is that more challenging for you to play when you're forced to sort of take Oliver in a, I guess, less likable route? Is it more challenging? Mm -hmm. It's more rewarding. I love it. I, I really hope that people watch the premiere and are super pissed at Oliver. Mm -hmm. There's one scene in particular where he should be better. Mm -hmm. He's not. Is and this the scene sucks. that you were talking about online that you were very proud of? No, I was, I'm, I'm proud of the shower fight. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm proud of the shower fight. That, 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 was, that was like, cool. you're right. Well, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know that that was like that was that was that was eight hours of of like hard fighting. It was amazing. I'm very proud of that. And question for Echo, uh, Rick, and Juliana. I mean, how is sort of the rest of Team Arrow sort of faring with Oliver behind bars? I mean, is there even a Team Arrow now? Well, I think yeah. I mean, I think you know, and Juliana kind of echo it is just the idea that. Now, with him being in jail, uh, in prison, um, we're having to kind of like interpret the idea of fighting for Star City, for continuing, you know, to move forward and doing what we need to do to help the city. But how do we interpret that? Like, how does that come about? You know, yeah. the choice of me being behind the mask. Um, do I do that? How do I do that? Or do I not do that? Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see that through, throughout the entire season. Yeah, I think the team is, is definitely broken. And after all of the animosity that happened between us last season and um, now the predicament that Oliver is in and just the sacrifice that he made for us, you know, we need to kind of, the hierarchy is broken. So we need to restructure and reevaluate, you know, how we, how we approach the team. And finally, my last question, uh, Beth, I mean, this season you're approaching 150 episodes. Do you have anything special in mind for that episode or is it just going to be a, another 150? episode? 150? Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely do something special for that episode. I can't believe it's like that many. What? <laughs> no, <but I> <laughs> no, wait a minute. <laughs> um, no, that's amazing. But that's really amazing. Is there like 12th or 13th episode this year? Something like that? So. It feels like we were just at 100. I know. Yeah. 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 Not that long ago. Circling back to what you talked about earlier. Like, rarefied air. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Like, Great. really, really fortunate. I mean, I'm really happy the show's still on the air. Um, and also, thank you guys for dropping by today. I'm getting a sign. I have to wrap up. Um, I'm looking forward to this new season. Ariel season seven will be will premieres October 15th, right? Yes. yes. Yep. Monday. At Monday, Monday, 8 p.m. And also, yeah. stay tuned to EW.com for more Comic-Con coverage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.